Hey, thanks for coming along everyone. It's Campin' Cass at Smith RV in Casper, Wyoming. We're gonna walk through 2023 Nash 24B. So I'm calling all the families out there. You got kids to bring with you. Maybe you got kids as friends to bring along or maybe grandparents that wanna bring some kids with them. If you're looking for a true four season bunk model trailer that's solid built, this one might be one you wanna look at. So we're looking at an overall length of 28.8 uh, front to back. Um, it's got 50 gallons of fresh water on board that is with the water heater. Um, and we do have our off the grid package on this one. Gives you some great features like our uh, shocked suspension with uh, the equalizers on there. We have off road tires. We have metal line wheel wells on board. Got mud flaps. I like that Northwood does mud flaps on all of their trailers. Now, being the bunk model, this one has got some awesome exterior storage. So, we have tons of room in here. It's nice and strutted. We have a light switch over here that's easy to access that we can turn that on and off. And a little pull down handle here. So, you can take a good look at the storage too for on the bottom side of the bunk. Got our little teddy bear mattresses, but we got a little shelf. 110 plugs and USBs. And then we have some cabinets in there as well that I can't reach from here, but you can from the inside. So we've got a very sizable awning on here. With a LED light strip in the tube on here. Now this is going to be an adjustable pitch awning as well, so we can tilt this thing pending shade and water runoff, etc. Do have outside speakers on board. Uh, we have a 10 gallon water heater on this thing. So your average is six. This thing is gonna be a 10 gallon gas electric. And so a little pro tip on that, you can run the electric and the gas at the same time for a faster recovery rate. We have an entry door assist handle, just standard flip down steps. So, but very easy up and down motion there. And then we're gonna have friction hinge. It's gonna pick up about uh, 20, 25 miles an hour of wind. So real quick back to our awning here. I want you guys to take notice of this little black strip up next to the trailer. So this is an actual vinyl wrap that kind of covers the awning and protects that from sunbake. So it's kind of a nice uh, little feature. They call that flex guard. All right, a little quick attention to our windows here. Um, not a lot of units out of Indiana actually go out and say that we have dual panes or thermal pane windows. That's what these are. So there's an actual R value to that. So having that insulated glass is gonna help this unit stay cooler in the summertime, warmer in the wintertime. So not, not a lot of units have that. Let's go to our pass-through storage. Inch thick, insulated baggage doors, magnetized. So this is an actual pass-through because I'm gonna show you on the other side of why that is, but nice, nicely finished, lighted, and we have a battery disconnect switch in here as well. So standard stabilizer jacks on this coach, nothing, nothing real fancy, but those things have worked on these things for darn near 100 years now. All right, moving on to the front. We have diamond plate on the bottom here, nice solid diamond plate. Fiberglass cap coming up top. And part of our OTG package is our safari tuft rack so this is kind of a great feature that me personally i put my 2000 watt yamaha generators up here some people will put coolers some people might bring additional water maybe a water jug to put there so with that otg package we also get led light bars on the front and back of the units so um, taller than the average power tongue jacks and they have little built-in safety chain holders and a little seven-way holder there as well. All right, over here, nice inset battery rack on here on this integrated A-frame. So we'll be able to uh, set you up with a pair of deep cycle batteries. 
so not a lot of units actually have a compartment that's prepped and ready for a built-in generator. So if someone is wanting something of just push button power on the go, this is a great feature to have. So we can put a 3600 Onan propane generator on board this. You can start it from inside the coach. It's super convenient if you're not one to be outside in your drawers, maybe on some cold morning pulling on a generator. I mean, I personally like that kind of thing, but not a lot of people do. I'm just kidding, I don't like that. All right, let's move on. So over here, let's check out our slide mechanism. So we have a rack and pinion slide mechanism on this. It's one of the most tried, most true slide mechanisms out there. Classic Northwood super tight slide seals. Compared to most, you can stick your hands right on in. These you really struggle to get, get a finger in there, but those are super nice. So gutters, gutters like crazy too. So we got gutters on all four corners and we have a drip rail and gutters above the slide out to keep the water away from that thing. All right, little storage in the slide here. That thing's super tall. Be a great place to put maybe uh, fishing poles or, you know, whatever uh, suits your desires. So real quick too, I wanna to show you this uh, foam block insulation that they use in the sidewalls. A lot of manufacturers use just bat insulation, which is fine until the bat insulation shuffles down the wall in time. That foam block's gonna be there for the life of the coach. Okay, coming around. So we have um, a little compartment for the power cord. That's about 25 feet of power cord for this 30 amp cord. I kind of like that so you can house it all in one area. You don't have to find a place to put it. All right, so we got black tank flush, city water connection there. And then let's check out our dumps real quick. So convenient LED lighting right where you need to work. And then we have dump valves that are color coded and labeled. So the nice thing about these are they're straight full valves. The valves are in the heated and enclosed underbelly where we have each tank enclosed, each tank heated, and that's where the valves are. So that's what sets this thing apart as being a true four season all weather coach. Coming around the back side, we have a bumper sewer hose combination. Two inch rear receiver hitch. Now, just for accessories, you don't want a tandem tow a bumper pull. We've got a spare tire, we've got the fat ladder, and then again, part of that OTG package, we have the light bar. All right, guys, let's go check out the roof. Here we are on the roof. Here we can take a look at the awning with the Flex Guard protector, our roof rack, 170 watt solar panel, plus the 45 watt solar panel. Welcome aboard our bunk model, our four season bunk model. So 24B, it has this booth slide out. I'll show you how big these drawers are in this thing. It's like they keep going, 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 stop. So got massive drawers on each side. Nice all solid wood built in house at Northwood. Now this will make into additional sleeping. This will make down um, for additional sleeping if needs be. I have a little key rack up there, a little off the grid key rack. And then nice little storage here. We'll pull out a drawer there. All right, so got some more drawers over here. And then our entertainment center, 32 inch, uh, 12 volt TV. Little pass through that will go from either side on that end of the bed. AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth player. Good amount of storage there in those drawers. Let's check out the bed area real fast. So we're gonna have accordions on each side. So to kind of give that privacy of enclosing kind of the bedroom area there. Here's our little pass through there. And then this is prepped and ready for a TV if you want one on the back side. 
We do have the Max Air fan in here as well. And then we got our queen bed with the Northwood True Rest mattress, which again, that's always a good mattress there. That's not a throwaway mattress. A little storage under there. And for our storage, we got our folding storage over here. Big long pull out drawer there. Nice uh, inset storage here with his and hers USB ports on each side there. Just a single light switch there, nothing too fancy. Then we got our hanging, so you can remove those shelves and do hanging storage over there. And then more folding space up top. So tons of, uh, of height in here, I'm six foot three, a little taller with my boots on. But with this cathedral arch ceiling, which you can kind of see how much arch is in that thing, gives you tons of uh, headspace in this thing. All right, let's keep moving. Okay, so we got a little storage on this side, so you can kind of access from under the sink from this side for storage. We have our 30 amp controller from that uh, 170 watt panel that we just saw on the roof with the 45 standard panel. And it's, it's prepped and ready for a Wi-Fi router. And again, we could start that generator if you choose to have one on board. We can start that from in here, run the slide in and out awning, light switches, water pump, water heater, awning lights for that LED light strip. And then you can turn the front and rear light bars on and off if you wish, if you don't want to be blinding people. All right, coming around into the kitchen. We have a pretty standard 50-50 stainless steel sink in here. Pretty standard faucet. And a nice Furion uh, three burner cooktop here. Got removable grates. And then our little indicators, the gas is a flowing, which is super safe. Cook Thanksgiving dinner on that. Okay, got a fan there. Six cubic foot gas electric Norcold fridge. Now coming back to our bunks, double over double bunks here. And remember from the outside, we have those cabinet storages actually on the top and bottom. So a lot of storage in there. Ooh, let's check out this. This is, this is a real beauty. So removable shelves, additional hanging space, if that's what you wish, if you don't want to put stuff on there. And a nice set of drawers because we always put a lot of things in here because we never want to be without. So we all find a way to fill up whatever unit we have. I think we all know. All right, come on, let's go to the bathroom. Okay, so 110 outlet here. And we got a little light switch here that you can double switch that up here as well. I kind of like how that they've made this a little bit bigger just to give you a little bit more working room and medicine cabinet another medicine cabinet holy cow which is nice and a max air fan here now this one we can use this remote to open the lid turn the fan on speeds one two three four got some heat flowing into this bathroom through this vent here which is nice so it won't be cold and you can enjoy a nice view while using the restroom if you wish. You can uh, spot them deer out that window there. I see just Bruce, but hopefully you guys are going to see deer or something like that. All right, so over into the uh, shower. So they've been using this since uh, almost the early 2000s and in, in different various models. But it's kind of, it's the shower screen. And these things actually work super good at keeping water inside the shower, keeping keeping the uh, outside dry. A lot of headroom in here, heads barely in the skylight. Just pretty standard faucet, nothing real crazy, but I think it's gonna get the job done. So anyways, hopefully you guys have enjoyed walking through our Nash uh, 24B. If you guys have any questions, you wanna see any further information on it, please uh, hit them in the comments below. And again, I always appreciate you guys watching. And subscribe to see more of our uh, movies coming out at you. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day.